you feel? An accident. Just like many other fire you had started in the past. Babe. You know you can get hurt, right? You know things can go wrong, right? I don't want anything happening to you. That's why it's called an experiment. Babe. It is not your responsibility to save the world. Stop carrying it on your shoulder like a burden. Don't worry. I'll be fine, okay? I'll be okay. Here. Drink it. Hey. Thank you. So you turned the guest room into your research lab. Good morning, Sunshine. <clears throat> I didn't see you when I woke up. What happened? That was because I was trying to fix my dad and husband breakfast. Someone who nearly suffocated last night. You should still be lying in bed. Banky, I'm fine, okay? Your honey syrup worked like magic. Hmm? Fine. Breakfast is served. Jeremy on the table. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'll do lunch, okay? Maybe. Fans, this is your girl Banke, <laughs> your favorite life coach and your relationship counselor. So today we're going to be talking about how to become the most important person in someone else's life. Okay, so send in your questions and then I'll answer them and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so tell me before we go into that with this lockdown, guys. I know, see, I'm so bored, but you know, it's for the best. Oh, oh, ma, me. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello, mommy. You're bored, right? I know, right? I know. Don't worry. All of this will pass, okay? Soon it will pass. You 
haven't touched your food. It's oh. getting cold. How, how was your online session today? Good. My followers are growing. Oh, that's great news. What's wrong? You don't look too happy. I'm fine. No. Are you sure? I think you should go to bed. Are you coming with me? I still have some work to do. I haven't finished up yet. I'm not going to go and sleep on that bed alone again. It's not. If you're not coming with me, then I'll sleep here. Breakfast. I'll put it right there. Aren't you going to say good morning? Good morning. Really? Thank you. 
You can talk to me, okay? Bunker. He doesn't care about me. All he cares about is his work. I don't even get to feel his touch anymore. Hey. Amaju. Amaju. You need a shower. Mm. Baby, you stink, okay? You need a shower. I'm fine. You are not. I'll go upstairs and run you a bath. Join me upstairs. No excuses. I'm waiting. This is your girl, Banke. And for those of you who don't know me, I am your favorite life coach and relationship counselor. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to manage your relationship, especially during this COVID-19 lockdown. Sorry, guys. I have received more DM. Okay. It's just to keep our attention. Account number. Okay. Two one one zero three. Bank of Lagos. pictures up on your Instagram. You just sent me <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. This is a lot. Thank you.
Babe. Hmm? Baby. Oh, what are you doing? I'm chatting away on my time. Baby, I have good news. You know what? <laughs> it can wait till tomorrow, okay? It's time to go to sleep. No, baby, let me finish. It's past 2 a.m. Alright, let's go to bed. No, baby, I'll meet you. No, let's go, please. Okay. Did I get your coffee? No. Hey. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. You know you've not been eating proper food these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been busy, baby. Mm -hmm. Eating biscuits and... So does and all of that. I made food. Should I bring some for you? You want to feed me? Well, if you give me the chance to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, I, I'm working. I know. <laughs> I'm just still a minute of your time. <laughs> mm. So, how about mm. you come upstairs with me? Mm. And I'll give you some sugar. How about you give me a few more hours and I will join you? Baby, you're not going to come. I will, I promise. Mm. <laughs> Telling me to trust you is like, ah. I can't trust you. Okay, two hours and I will join you. Two hours? Two hours, baby. Promise? Yes. Two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, two more hours. Two more hours. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, babe. Babe, someone sent me a whooping sum of one million naira for my show. Baby. Babe. Uh, yeah, what did he say? Forget it. Uh, two more hours. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, two more hours, yeah. <laughs> Two dozens, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the volumetric flask, uh, beakers, and. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the magnifying glass as well. Okay. Thank you. So, when am I getting these deliveries? Alright, then that's fine. Thank you. You know, I can't believe you just ordered for new lab equipment. Babe, I had to replace the ones that got damaged during the fire. So you can go back to your lab, right? Hmm? The cases arise. Okay, the world is experiencing a plague. And so you're supposed to save the world? I'm a knowledgeable microbiologist, okay? And I need you to believe in me. Baby, look, I believe in you. I have always believed in you. But this is a global pandemic. And the whole world is trying to look for a cure. A lot of big companies and corporate bodies are investing lots of funds just to get a vaccine and... Yes, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm an average citizen. Married to a pensive wife, living in an inherited apartment with a laboratory in it. You can't believe that, that this threat could amount to nothing, right? You don't believe that it can be anything. Baby. No. You don't have to see anything. All right? I understand. Baby. Uh, listen, I, I just need you to do me a favor, okay? I've got a lot of work to do and I need my microscopes. You lock the lab and I can get access to it. Okay. It's baby, okay. baby, wait. No. Baby, look. I, I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Just hold on. Yeah, hey, that's enough. I'm done. Baby, 
Pipi. Hey. Hi. Uh, hope you don't mind me calling you on video. It's just that I don't like to type that much. It's fine. It's fine. I understand. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing? Dressing up for my show. A show? You should wear red. Why? Well, uh... <laughs> Let's just say you would look uh, exceptionally beautiful in red. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been meaning to ask you something. Go on. What do you think about what I do? Like, what do you think about my show? Do you have a note? Uh, yes, but why? Well, because. You might not be able to remember everything I have said by the time I'm done. <laughs> Don't worry, just tell me. I'll just surprise you. <laughs> Are you sure? Go on, I'm listening. All right.
Hi, Banke. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So did you get to celebrate today? Did you get to talk to them for me? Well, it'll mean a whole lot to my career if I can get to celebrate it to endorse my show. Well, let's just say people would start flooding your page soon. Wow, that's what I need. Because you know your fans end up becoming your clients. True. Well, let's see what happens. Oh. Okay. So, what did you eat today? Chicken, wings, mm. and okay. spicy jollof rice. <laughs> like cool okay. juice on the side. <laughs> the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 have risen to 1,728, according to latest figures from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, with the announcement of 196 new cases last night. Your Instagram followers has grown to 1.6 million. Are you serious? Yes. Okay, let me check. <laughs> oh my goodness. something why would you distract me like that I just wanted to share good news with you um Banke 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 Sorry I shouted at you. Please don't cry. I need to regret you. And why are you crying? I'm just angry at the expectations that I have. Please don't say that. Please. When was the last time you noticed me as your wife? My joy, my pain, my happiness, my sorrows. They don't matter to you anymore. This is just for a period of time, okay? The, the world is on a standstill and I... It is I... my life that is on a standstill. When was the last time you ate my food? Hmm? When? Instead, you're stuck in your lab drinking whiskey and eating chips. Or, or listening to music in the 90s. Do I even still appeal to you as a wife? Do I? Do you even notice me? You don't! I came into the study to share a piece of good news with my husband. And guess what he did? He yelled at me. Uh, babe, I, I said I'm sorry, can we just forget about it? What's that? It's my alarm, right? I need to get to work, baby. Oh, we are having a conversation. I'm at you. I just need to do this. I'll get back to you, baby. Why can't we have the conversation now? Not now. Oh, goodness.
Gusta. You tell me. You were the one who made some orders. What orders? Do not act ignorant with me, Amateur. So you still went ahead to order this lab equipment? Oh, um, yeah, I had to replace. Replace what exactly? For what exactly? Honey, listen, I just... Enough! What is wrong with you? We are running into debt and all you can think about is your stupid lab. Uh, uh, listen, Banker, okay? I, I would not watch you insult me. Please. You know, I don't care if you think this is an insult, but you know that what you're doing is not right. What you're doing is wrong. Banker. Banker. Banker, hey. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Huh? What do you think? You think I do not have our best interest at heart? Is that it? Huh? I'm at you. The whole world is on a standstill. People are dying. And all you could think about is to use our last money on irrelevant things. Hey, hey, hey. Stop being rude. But it's not as though we, 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 we are that broke. What's your problem? No, 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 you, 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 you think all this will amount to nothing? Uh -huh. No, no, that's, that's what you think. You think it's a total waste of time, isn't it? You, you have never believed in me. No. Oh my God. Yes, you've never believed in me. You think I'm useless? You think I'm wasting my time? You think this will amount to nothing? Look, it's just that it's been six years of marriage and, and there's been no result. There's been no result, that's what you want to say? Stop putting words in my mouth. I'm not mouth. putting words in your mouth. Stop putting no, words I'm in my not. mouth. No, I'm not. I just need to read what's in your heart. So go ahead, tell me what you think. I know that you and I have always had opinions about our careers, okay? But you never mentioned to me that you do not like my job. Let's look at it from this perspective, baby. You do a lot of projects. You don't have sponsorship. You use our money to do these projects, baby. We don't even have enough. And at the end of the day... Yeah, and at the end of the day, it, it results to nothing. It amounts to nothing. That's what it is. That's what you're trying to say. There's been no result. Baby, no. No! Listen, okay? I have never for one day looked at you and said to you to quit your job. That is because I love what I do. Yeah, I do not love what I do. I mean, you who wouldn't love what I do? I don't! Yes, don't be surprised. I don't love what you do. You, you want me to tell you what I think about your job? Because I think you are hiding. Yes, I think you are hiding. I, I think you, you, you're not a, a counselor. I think you're not a relationship expert. You're not even a life coach. Yes, going on live video and, and appealing to everyone to sponsor your giveaways. I do not appeal to anyone. You do not appeal to anyone. Just look at you. You are beautiful. All right, when you do all of that on social media, appearing vulnerable, who don't want to take advantage? Nobody takes advantage of me. My fans, my clients, my sponsors, they all do it because they love me. The love you know. You know what? We shouldn't be having this conversation. No, I want to have this conversation now, Amadou. What do you think? That I've never helped anyone on social media? You think I do all of that to chase clouds? Is that what you think? Man up and talk to me. You know what I think? You're the one who needs help. All right, you can be helping other people, and you're the one who needs help the most. What are you even saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You sit on your laptop every day, having all of those hypes on Instagram. Come on, it doesn't suddenly make you a life coach or a counselor. You've never... Yes, I've never said anything. You know why I've never said anything? Because I do not want you to feel bad. I just wanted to support you. Support you! Because that's what couples do. They support each other. I wanted to support your dreams. You know what? I don't even care anymore. I don't give a damn what you think anymore. I am not a loser like you. I am not the weakling who is too scared to go out there to look for a good paying job. Instead, you hide out in your little lab hole, experimenting on rodents and hoping for a miracle from heaven. Enough! Look, you don't like my job, right? You think I need help, right? Well, let me give you a piece of information. One of the biggest celebrities in Nigeria gave me a shout out on their live Instagram. Who is winning now? Mm? Tell me. There's no need to mention any name because you don't even know anyone. Because you're too busy working in your lab to know anything social. Okay? And guess what? A total stranger sent me one million naira for giveaways. A total stranger? Yes. Sent you one million? I mean, who would have given you one million naira? That whooping song? Who would have done that? Well, someone who can. Someone who cares. Who's that? What does he want? I beg your pardon? I mean, a man doesn't just wake up one morning and, and send a whooping sum of one million naira into a lady's account if there's no ill conceived. You know, that's because he can. Can you? Banker, if I had one million naira, I would rather go adopt kids in an orphanage and give them a place called home. Amadou, you dare to mock my childlessness. 
How dare you? I haven't said anything about our childlessness, okay? You think this is my fault? Listen, Banke, you're just being paranoid right now. You pretend as if you're okay with us not having kids yet. But now I see your true colors. Banke, stop this. You know what? Let me enlighten you and die. You know why I've not been able to conceive ever since our last miscarriage? It is because of you. Look at yourself. You're looking so unkept. Every day you're getting unattractive. Making love to you is like a job, okay? How am I even going to conceive when you don't even have the energy to make love to me? Just too busy! Why did you change it? Why did you change the channel I was watching? I'm at you. I'm talking to you. Let me have the remote. Why? Banke, I do not want to argue, okay? Well, you made that clear the minute you walked in here and changed the program I was watching that you wanted to argue. My car was giving me trouble on my way back from the supermarket. I'm talking to you. Then stop going out with it. Do you expect me to trek to the supermarket every time I need something? Yeah, then just book a ride online. Why are you being so nonchalant? How am I being so nonchalant about this? You just came to me to tell me that the car was giving you troubles and that you, you, you can't trek to the supermarket. Why didn't I prefer the solution? No. You only gave a way out like you usually do. 
Listen, Banke, I'm not in the mood to entertain your nagging today, please. Are you ever in the mood for anything? Are you ever in the mood for a conversation? You know how baffling it is to wake up one morning and realize that you've spent six years of your life with a total stranger? Amanju, call the mechanic to take a look at the car, okay? If you're going to use all our savings for your research, then please do not take away my comfort. There's nothing left for me. Can I have some breakfast? You can take some soda. Uh, okay, I, I can't take soda, okay? I, I don't feel too good. Uh, can you perhaps just make something for me? I need to take my drugs. Look, I need to go online now. I have a huge fan who wants to talk to me. Bank. Banke, I'm not feeling so well. Listen, Banke, whatever it is, 
I just manage, okay? The soda in the fridge, you can take it with your chips. That is no way to talk to your husband. You know, I still can't believe it that Amaji called you. He's such a loser. Please stop it. He started it first. And that is why you have to escalate it to the extent of calling him and accusing him of so many ridiculous things. What would you have me do? I was only looking out for us. <laughs> Amaji is about to spend every penny that we have on his fruitless research. If he does that, how are we going to survive in this lockdown? I know. But if you were to get divorced after the lockdown, would that make you both happy? I let me have to go. And where are you going to? I have a business meeting to attend. I thought our businesses are closed. <laughs> Alero, I have to go. Okay, just take care of yourself. And your husband, who is going to take care of him? You know he's not well. Wow. Wait, are there other people in this house? No, nope, it's just you and I. <laughs> okay. I, I, I thought we were just supposed to have a drink and then discuss business. Oh well, um... Thank you. I actually thought for a feast. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. This is so much. It's, it's, it's too much. Well, I wasn't sure of what you would like, so I got a little bit of... Uh... Everything, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you so much. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. I have a delivery for Madame Banke. Hmm. Is this food? Yes, ma'am. This is cooked food? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. This is absurd. I mean, what is wrong with Banke? This is not right at all. Um, hello? Yeah? Where is Banke? She went out. She didn't tell you? Um, what's this? Food. Oh, okay. Can, can I have some? These are takeouts. You eat them too? I haven't had food in some days now. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, this is serious. You know, a lot of businesses have strived over the years due to the influence of social media. Well, I know someone who thinks promoting oneself or business idea on social media is a bad idea. Well, but it must be crazy, I must tell you. Yes, it must be very crazy. You know, um, most of the top businesses that I know, and most of the top businesses you actually see out there today, 
actually channeling promotions and advertisements to social media and paying less attention to prints and uh, transmitters. Well, those are going extinct anyway. Hmm. In a few years to come, mm -hmm. I bet you, in a few years to come, when you walk into someone's house and you see a television set there, it's only going to be used as a piece of interior decor. So whoever told you that social media is a terrible idea is out to be weeped. Fuck him to put fucking his eyes and pluck it out and... Um... So, uh, who said that to you? Never mind. Your husband, right? He thinks that social media is of bad influence on you. Look, my husband is just an old soul. He's very eccentric. Oh, this is the 21st century. Well, this is the 21st century, but my husband still listens to music from the 70s. <laughs> well, in that case, he is an old soul. <laughs> you know, whenever he gets a new project, he doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't do anything. He just focuses on the project. To focus, to pay attention to other things like social media and his beautiful mm -hmm. wife. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have something that would brighten up your mood. Okay. First, um, some grapes. Thank you. I heard grapes is uh, the way to a woman's heart. <laughs> well, my heart is already taken. A little something something for me to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you like it. Can I pick? No. Okay, um, I would rather you do it when you get home. Okay. But it's 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 too much. I possibly can't. This is all too much. This and is guess what? Yeah, it's, it's also unrefundable. <laughs> okay, I'll keep it. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, let's cheers to uh, lasting friendship and good partnership. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> Hello, Alero. Alero, hello. Alero, I'm talking to you. Don't even start with this, your silent treatment. Why order takeouts when you should have cooked in your own home? What is wrong with me asking a catering company to deliver food to the house? What is wrong is that this is supposed to be a perfect bonding time for you and your husband. But no, you prefer going out to go attend some ghost meeting with who knows who and then send some stranger to bring food home for your sick husband. What do you want from me? I don't know what you or how much you want me to do. What do you want? If you're not satisfied, then just, I don't know. Banke, you are losing your mind. What has gotten into you? Alara, I can't do this right now. I have to go live very soon. So let me go and freshen up. Kemi. Hello, Kemi. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Kelechi. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
It's so beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Of course I like it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Good night. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. You just got it? I know, right? One of my fans gave it to me. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought you were sleeping in your study. Ah, uh, yeah, but I woke up and I heard your voice. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Are you okay? I'm just worried about you. I don't want to lose you. You think I'm going to die? What are you saying? Stop talking rubbish. friend slash fan, Kemi. Mm. Her husband is infected with COVID-19. Yeah, that's sad, but he's going to be fine. He's diabetic. Just puts him at a greater risk, but doesn't mean he's going to die. Babe, I don't want to lose you, Understand. okay? You yeah. are not going to lose me. You know you are asthmatic, and what if... I have said it. I'm going nowhere, and you are not going to lose me. Please find a cure to this madness. I don't want to lose you, please.
Go to your bedroom. My bedroom. Yeah. Yes. Where's the? I guess is that way. Yeah. Okay.
Are you satisfied? <laughs> Are you happy now that you have ruined your marriage? Lero. Don't allero me. You disappoint me, Banke. I never knew you were this loose. Lero, don't say that. Don't say that, please. <laughs> you need to go ask for forgiveness from Amaju and then go seek the face of God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You got what you deserved. In life, what you give is what you get. Six years of marriage, Alero. And what have you contributed all these years? You see, it's not about counting how many years you've stayed in marriage, but how well spent. Listen, I, I know that I'm not the perfect husband. But I loved her. I loved her with, with everything. <laughs> and you think she doesn't love you? Maju, in as much as you're my favorite cousin, I cannot stay in a marriage with a man like you, not even for two years. Yeah, don't be surprised. Every woman wants a man that can care and be there for her. And you need to be that man for your wife. I, I understand that, okay, but she cheated on me. What am I supposed to do? Just, just, just smile at her, give her a trophy? She cheated on me. And have you heard her own side of the story? Listen, I'm not asking you to forgive her. I'm asking you to forgive yourself. <laughs> because you share just as much blame as she does. Think about it, okay? try to reach my wife again via our phone or email or anything I promise you this will be the last time you'd ever see yourself in the mirror yeah so are you just gonna sit there and keep crying or you want to start talking are you going to believe anything I say no I wouldn't believe you but at least it will help me get rid of all the stupid imaginations in my head. Do this right. No, 
Oh, no, yeah. you didn't. It's all me. No, I, I, yes, I did. Please do not blame yourself. This is all me. I take a part of the blame. You see, I was carried away with work, trying to find a vaccine for this pandemic. And nothing I did is justifiable, okay? This is not... This is not justifiable at all. Baby, I love you. Please. Please forgive me. I don't want to lose you. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Please. You know, it's going to take me a while to trust you again. Maybe a very long time. I know. And I will wait. Okay? I will wait. I will fix it. I promise. I will make sure I do things right. I'm sorry. Please. You see, it's good to be influential, to be well sought after, to be desired, but it becomes all shades of wrong when you start to lose your identity because you want to be Miss Popular on social media. I mean, it makes no sense to lose one's identity just because you want to be part of a circle that never satisfies. You're right, baby. I feel so ashamed. All I wanted was just for you to see me. I'm so sorry. He was the one who gave you the frame. Yes. I'm sure you know what to do about it. Yes, I do. I, I, I will destroy it, I promise, okay? Let's see how vulnerable you are, Bianca.
would know I care Just say the words, I'll be right there I'll come running to your hand